This video is on how I converted uh, some of these old style fluorescents. You can see there's a round tube that used to go in here. Sorry I threw the tube away before I made the video. Uh, they had this ballast, they had a starter in them, uh, the tube plugged into this thing and they, well, they consume a lot of power. This thing consumes 10 watts, the bulb consumes 32 watts. They don't put out very much light, they get very warm and, well, they're heavy. Uh, when you take them down to paint them or paint around them, they're they're just a nuisance. They're very heavy to work with. Uh, so what I did is I started converting these, uh, cleaning them up. These are some spares that are left over from the conversion process. We have 28 of these things around the house, so I had some spares left over uh, from some other uh, places we didn't use them. But um, this old style was replaced with either this uh, two socket or three socket variant using compact fluorescence. You can see there's three sockets here. And of course the reason to go to this is because it's brighter, it's cheaper, it's available. These circular uh, tubes are no longer easy to find. And the reason I did three and then went to two is when this, when I first started this process, 312s, 312 watt bulbs were cheaper than 218s. Okay, so in the conversion, um, you can see all these screws that are held in the ballast, held in the starter, and so on. And when you take all that off and throw it away, um, you have these holes. And I recommend closing the holes with pop rivets is what I've used. You may have to drill the hole out a little bit and put in a bigger pop rivet. Very flat, low-profile pop rivet. Helps keep bugs and dust out. You'd be surprised how much bug and dust uh, stuff can get in there. But uh, the sockets are just you know, you can buy them at any hardware store. You pop rivet them onto the base, drill some holes, pop rivet them onto the base, wire them up. Uh, I'll put in my disclaimer, if you don't know how to do wiring, don't do it. There's risk of fire, there's risk of shock, electrocution, falling, all that stuff. So, anyway, know what you're doing. But, it's, uh, you just wire them up. Uh, there's the pigtail there, we'll go work to the house wiring. And pop rivet them on there. Uh, the I've been giving them a spray paint while I was at it. This one's been painted but hasn't been pop riveted. First, let's take a close-up look at, at the uh, fixture and see what we got to remove. The ballast has to come off. It has two screws typically here and here. And the other thing is the starter and just has another screw here. If we look on the back side, there's just ordinary screws, so I take those off. We'll be leaving this piece. This is the thing that holds on the glass globe. And so that's it. So to, to take care of this, you'll remove the ballast in here, three screws, the wires will come off with it. Uh, and that's pretty much it for uh, preparing the, the plate for the, uh, for the sockets. This is one of the sockets that I got, uh, less than 50 cents each at a hardware store. Uh, ceramic. I definitely prefer the ceramic. Um, there's not much to wiring these up. They've got two connectors on the back. Uh, this is the center and as you can see the center goes off to the right which would be this uh, connection right here. So that's your live and then of course that would be your neutral. Definitely you want to get it with a bracket. I bought some without the bracket. Tried to make my own bracket. Not fun. And I noticed I put some red paint on here to keep the screw from backing out. Here you can see our two sockets. Uh, I'll use the uh, two socket configuration. In fact, I've pretty much gone to this around the house. The price of LED bulbs is coming down such that you can put two in here uh, rather than three. Three will give you better distributed light, but two, I mean, frankly, it's easier to maintain. Okay, so this is the two socket configuration. As you can see, here's one of our sockets with a bracket and a pop rivet on it and all I did was drill a hole and put a pop rivet in there. Kind of uh, low tech, did the same thing on that side. Um, yeah, not a big deal, but again just make sure that wherever you put the socket it's going to fit with your globe. This is the wiring. It's fairly basic. Uh, as you can see this is the lead coming in. Uh, I have the live on the center terminal of the socket. And then the other set of wire runs over to my other socket. Yes, that wire is kind of long. This is the first one I did. 
and it runs over here uh, same type of thing center terminal is live and yeah that's it uh, be sure to use the correct wiring for the bulbs and so forth you're using your fixture and that's pretty much it uh, there's a couple of them here in this room in operation if you can see um, but uh, a lot more light a lot less electricity and uh, with the LED bulb expect to get even more savings uh, per month so anyway that's it uh, hope you found it useful